Tom Ackerman. Um, that is picture perfect. Yes, it's good. Uh, we've got sunshine on tap for today. Let's get a look outside and uh, show you what's going on. Our Lexington Financial Center live camera. Uh, the visibility is good. Uh, we've got issues in our southeastern counties primarily. You've got two miles visibility in Richmond. And you're down to zip into some of our southeastern mountain counties. The max track is clear and the big broad picture shows. Uh, yeah, nothing precipitation wise heading uh, our way anytime soon. Future track backs that up. So we've got a beautiful day, a continuation. Uh, uh, we've got a beautiful day today and a continuation of yesterday. Uh, but then start to run into some trouble over the weekend. There's a cold front approaching from out west. There's a wave of low pressure approaching from down south. And between the two, Moisture will be on the rise, so by Saturday, probably as early as Friday night, definitely into Saturday morning, we'll have some scattered showers around. I start to ramp up the shower and storm possibilities as that cold front approaches. We could pick up uh, over an inch or more of rain Saturday into Sunday, and you could even see localized higher amounts. So late in the weekend, I'm not terribly concerned about it right now, but with multiple rounds coming through, we may end up with enough rain that we could have some localized flash flooding issues, but that's still days away, and we'll just kind of keep that uh, in the back of our mind for later in the weekend. So if you're trying to mow, I'm putting it off until tomorrow. Try to just get it as close to the rain as you can uh, before it starts, uh, which it likely will. Scattered Sunday and then more widespread, or uh, scattered Saturday and then more widespread Sunday. We're in the 50s in Lexington. It's a little on the cool side out there. And yeah, we're approaching that time of the year where we start to have these transitions. We've already hit meteorological fall. That's marked by uh, cooling average temperatures. Your average high starts coming down, which it is. It's at 83 now. Uh, now, autumnal equinox is September 22nd, so that's just around the corner. Uh, the official start of fall by the calendar. Right there are those average high temperatures. At the beginning of September, it's 85. By October 1st, it's down to 75. That's how fast that average high drops and how much we cool down. And then, of course, by the end of November, it's all the way down to 50. So if we break down the three-day forecast into its you know, component parts here day by day, today, no worries. It's beautiful. You've got sunshine. You've got highs in the low 80s. Most importantly, you still have that humidity in check. So it'll feel very comfortable out there. Uh, good porch sitting weather. Good weather for just riding around with the windows down, letting your dog hang its head out. Uh, just beautiful stuff here. Now, Friday, more of the same. But you notice it's, it's warmer. We're up above our normal high mid 80s. Uh, so with a southeasterly wind shift, you'll start to notice the warmth building a bit, even a touch of mugginess out there. That mugginess will be on the rise over the weekend. Uh, but we're going to flip it as the mugginess rises, the shower and storm chances rise, the temperature will start to come down. So notice Saturday you're in the upper 70s for the high. So there's the cooler uh, weather that we're expecting, more cloud cover around. I don't think Saturday is going to be a washout, but especially into the afternoon, we'll have to watch out for those scattered showers and thunder showers. We'll have some around in the morning. We'll likely see it peaking into the afternoon. And then with that cold front settling in, unfortunately, it just continues to ramp up. So by Sunday, yeah, that rain chance likely. Showers, some occasional thunder showers, uh, some strong storms with some heavier rain mixed in is what we'll really be watching out for late in the weekend. Don't anticipate much in the way of severe weather, but something to keep an eye on. And those showers and storms will continue in early next week. So Sunday, Monday, the most active. On the back end of that, some very nice days, some cooler days, below normal, highs mid to upper 70s and drying out toward the middle of the week.